place the ball or your um, dog bed right behind your back for a little extra support. And you're going to find a nice tall spine to begin lifting up through the crown of the head. Reach your arms out forward in front of you. And just begin making circles with the arms here. And then feel like you're tracing the size of a basketball with your fingertips. You're pulling back through the ribs, lifting up through the crown of the head. You can bring your feet pretty wide to make some space for your hips. Good, and then circle the arms the other way. Really nice work. Connecting with the breath here. We're going to keep your arms reaching forward, just hinge slightly back into that dog bed. You're going to pull your elbows back into you and inhale, reach forward. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, reach forward. You're going to do three more here through center. And two. And one. Good. Reach your arms forward and you're going to rotate slightly over to your right and come back to center. And rotate slightly to the left and come back to center. So you're rotating from the belly button up to the shoulders or up to the head. You're keeping your knees nice and still. And rotate little teeny tiny rotations reaching long through the fingertips. And now you're going to stay rotated over to your right, draw your elbows back towards you and reach them out forward. Exhale, pull back, inhale forward. Exhale, pull back. Good, so you're finding a nice width through the back, width through the collarbones, and width through the front of the body, the abdominals. Good, now rotate through center, and now over to the left, elbows pull back, exhale, inhale forward, exhale pull back, inhale forward, your knees are staying stacked over top of the ankles, and two more times, and last time, good, come through center, lift up off that ball or your dog bed, and open the knees. Good. Just stretch through the inner thighs a little bit. Nice jump. Okay, so you're going to make your way onto your back. The ball is going to go in between your inner thighs. And your feet are going to be together and connected. Bring your feet up above the knees in a nice long diamond position. Your hands are going to come behind your head and curl up your head and shoulders slightly. You're going to keep the upper body nice and still and just dip the knees away from you. And exhale up. Inhale lower. And exhale lift. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. Good. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. They move away. And exhale lift. So now you're going to keep the lower body nice and still. Rotate your left shoulder towards the right knee and come back to center and rotate the other way. Come back to center, keep the elbows wide and center. Good. And center one more time each way. Try to keep length through the crown of the head and center good, lower down that upper body. Place your feet down onto the floor so that pillow's now still in between your inner thighs, just above the knees. Bring your arms out into a T position. Your palms can face the ceiling or the floor. You're going to press into your heels and lift the hips up, reaching through the knees, and then slowly roll the spine back down with control, good, and then slowly back up, connecting the ribs into the body, pulling wide and flat through the abdominals, and then slowly lower the spine back down. And 
exhale, pressing back up. Gonna keep the hips lifted. I just want you to drop the hips down a few inches and then press the lift back up. Inhale to lower and exhale to lift. Inhale to lower, exhale lift. Good, you're ready to do three more here. And two, make sure you're connecting now with the glutes and the hamstrings. And one, good, and then slowly lay that spine back down. Nice job, so now that ball is going to go behind, or your pillow is going to go behind one knee. And the other leg's going to come up into a tabletop position. Hands come behind the head, curl the upper body up, and now begin dipping the ball leg down and the other leg down. Inhale, dip, and switch. Good, make sure you're keeping the weight even in both hips. One more time each way. Good, now you're going to begin straightening that leg out, add a little rotation, and dip, and rotate, and dip. Two more times. And last time. Good. Nice job. Lower that upper body down. And now you're going to pass the ball into a fold of the other knee, the pillow. I'm going to keep saying the wrong thing. <laughs> Hands come back behind the head. Gentle curl up of the head and shoulders. And then dip the foot down. And switch. And switch. Good. And lying it flat. Good. And now you're going to straighten out that leg, add in the rotation, and come back to center. Extend and rotate. Come back to center. Good. Three more times. And two. And one. Nice job, and relax, nice. And just breathe for a moment. Good. All right, so we're gonna make our way onto your left side. And you're gonna bring the pillow behind your right knee, your top knee. And you're gonna stay propped up onto this arm here. Reach your arm up towards the ceiling so you're staying engaged with this bottom side of the waist. And just lift your leg up and lower down. You're pulling back through your center. Three, and two, and one. Nice job, and now bring that leg up again. Begin making circles with the legs, so lifting up out of that bottom shoulder. Two, and one, and reverse the circle. Hips are staying nice and still, so over your shoulders. You're staying lengthened through the crown of the head. Nice job, and now lift the hips back up. Lift that leg up. You're gonna bring the leg forward, pull your elbow into your side, and then bring that leg slightly back behind you as you reach the arm overhead. And drop the leg forward, and back and forward and back good three more and two and last time good job and lower yourself down another side so now the ball is going to go behind your outer knee and you're propped up onto your bottom elbow elbows stacked right underneath of your shoulder here. Arm is reaching up and just open and close and lift and lower. Good, feel that heat working through the side of the seat. Two more. And now keep that leg lifted, begin making circles with the knee, up and around. Pulling back through the center. Good 
Good. And now reverse the circles up and around. Lifting up out of that bottom shoulder. Two and one. And now lift those hips up. Lift the leg up. We're going to travel the leg forward. Elbow tucks in. Leg travels back as you reach overhead. And pull forward. And reach. Pull that elbow in. And reach. So you're staying wide and flat through the front and the back of the body. Two more. And last time. And reach. Good. Lower it down. And now we're going to move that ball. Quick little stretch and then you're all set. So extend one leg out in front of you. Step the other across. Hug it in and breathe. 